Hey guys, Chad here. I got the new Umrex complete and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on what, what you need to do for maintenance on it. Uh, in the book instruction manual, it says every 500 shots to do to do this. I would say if you live in an environment where it's you know dusty or humid and you're, or you're outside a lot, you might want to do a little bit more, but you know it's real simple to do, so I just want to do a quick video and show you kind of how to do this. Uh, first off, you want to make sure the gun is safe. I am going to decock it by pulling back the lever. Hold the trigger down. Go forward. It's decocked. Go ahead and put it back on safe. And there, I'm going to go ahead and the, take the forearm off. The This air cylinder is empty. but And so it's really easy to take off. Normally this is when you would degas it right here with the degassing screw, but it's loose. I've already emptied it and I'm just going to take it off and get it out of the way. So you remove that and um, what you want to do basically is you want like all the moving parts and stuff. You want to just, you know, hit that with some uh, good silicone air chamber oil. We use the RWS air chamber oil and um, just go over that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up here. Inside here, you can see that there's a spring and these two connections that, that actually move that back and forth. So I'm gonna hit that with a, a little bit. Not too much. I always say less is better because you don't want it gathering dust. Work that back and forth. Then on these connections here, I'm gonna use this one. It comes with a little pin and I'm just going to hit right in there and right right in there. Like I said, just work it back, make sure it's all spreads evenly. Okay, in here, you see the I'm going to put this right here. You can see the the probe. And so I'm going to just put a drop on that. Work that back and forth. Then I'm going to go inside here where the seal is, the O-ring, just put a little bit in there and once again work it back and forth. Now normally when you change your nitro air tank that's when I would say that you, you put a drop of this on there. It's just like you do when you fire in your CO2 guns. Just put a little bit of that in there and then it goes into the seals, the O-rings and keeps them nice. Um, I'm going to just put a little bit right around that O-ring. It's also a good time to you know check your O-rings, make sure they're not damaged. And then I'm gonna put the, the empty bottle back on just to keep that oil in there where it doesn't run out. I don't even wanna screw it on all the way just like that. I will go ahead and put the uh, forearm back on it. Now, that is about it for maintaining all the working parts. Uh, the outside of the gun, it's not, you know, it's not necessarily you have to use the chamber lube. You just, you know, you want to use something that's not petroleum. I use these little ballastol wipes. They, and the good thing about them because they, they don't hurt. You can use them on leather, plastic. So I just kind of wipe everything off. Up here, you know, this plastic, if I had dirt on it or anything like that, you can even hit the scope. Just wipe stuff down. Get anything that's dirty from out being in the woods or shooting. Something like that. And then what I like are these microfiber towels. Super cheap. And then I just wipe off all this access because, you know, if it stays on there wet, it's going to gather dust and it just, this just keeps it all clean. Just anywhere that you put the, you applied the ballastol wipe on it, just kind of wipe it back off. And that is it. You know, obviously if you're, lens is dirty you want to use a, a good lens cleaner you wouldn't want to put any oil on that but 
that was it. I mean, it's super easy to do, and it just it just helps your gun last longer and shoot the way it's supposed to. I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.